This is a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. And some would say probably the most popular and reliable full-size four-door sedan ever made. Since the late 70s, Ford, Mercury, and Lincoln have been building what they call the Panther platform, and it has been a success ever since. Made popular by mostly old people in the civilian realm, as well as police cruisers throughout North America and around the world, Ford's claim to fame with this car is all-American, rear-wheel drive, V8 power. Today, I'm going to review this 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. We're gonna take you through some of the quirks and features of this Mercury Grand Marquis. Then we're gonna take it for a drive, and then we're gonna give it an old car guy score. So first, we're going to take a look at the outside of this Grand Marquis, and then we'll go to the interior. Now you'll notice on this particular model, it has the color matched grille with the Mercury logo in the center. Also, tinted headlights, turn signals, and tail lights. This particular model is the Grandma Edition. And what makes it a grandma edition, you might ask? Well, let me show you. First, we'll start off with this golden ash paint color. Now this was very widely approved by Ford and old people down in Florida because in the retirement communities along the coast, this is what kept the car cool. You'll notice that this car has been upgraded with the 18 inch aluminum wheels from a Mustang. And why a Mustang you ask? Well basically they used the same power plant. Now this one only comes equipped with the 4.6 liter two valve per cylinder and operates at roughly around 230 horsepower. Granted, with the aftermarket air filter, you're gonna gain about 50 horsepower. You will also note that the outside rear view mirrors are heated as well, like many Fords, has the exterior keyless entry keypad. So basically, if you locked your keys in your car, you could still unlock it by pressing a predetermined five digit code. And keeping with the cool factor, you will notice the aftermarket tint job on the windows. And as we move around to the largest trunk in the modern era, you'll note that this vehicle comes with a full-size spare as well as it has been equipped with a 10-inch subwoofer and amplifier. And for those who may get trapped inside this three-body trunk, you'll also notice the emergency handle, which coincidentally glows in the dark. And now that we've taken a look at the exterior, let's move into the quirks and features on the interior. So one thing that you're going to notice first off is the amount of space inside this passenger compartment. In the front, you will see a bench seat that has fold down armrests that when they're not in use can be folded up 
and make room for a six, yes, that's right, a six passenger. You'll also note that this model has been equipped with a wireless charger for your cell phone, satellite GPS and Bluetooth connectivity, as well as climate control. And over here on the steering wheel, you will see that we have the radio controls for your Bluetooth as well as the volume and seek and tune buttons. There is a glove box over here because storage, believe it or not, on the interior of these Mercury Grand Marquis is, quite frankly, limited. We do have one that is full, completely, of dashkins. And you'll also note that the rear view mirror on the interior is auto dimming. When we come around to the driver's side, you will note that there is power pedal adjustment for those who may be a little bit shorter, like grandma or grandpa, and the tilt wheel, as well as the power seat buttons are controlled from the door. Don't forget about your power trunk is down here on the door as well. Now, let's move around to the rear seat. Now, another thing to take note of in these full-size Panther platform cars is the surprising lack of rear seat space for someone who is six foot tall or more, like me. Granted, I could sit back here quite comfortably on a long trip. Leg space is at a little bit of a premium, especially if I'm sitting behind a driver as tall as I am. And again in the back seat, we have three passenger capability, but when there's only two, you have a fold down rear armrest. Now, there are no cup holders in the back seat of this 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. In fact, there's only two cup holders in the entire car. You will also note that the rear package tray comes complete with a box of tissue. So that is it for the quirks and features of this 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. Now it's time to take it for a drive. So one of the first things that we're going to notice about this Grand Marquis is simply how smooth of a ride it is. Even though this has 18 inch wheels and tires, one would think it would take away or sacrifice the intended ride quality of the vehicle. It does not. Also in this car is an aftermarket dual exhaust that sounds really good. Granted, it is not overbearing because it is meant to be a subtle sound. However, when you come onto it, you can hear the exhaust. The steering is very soft and responsive, and despite the fact that we are using a bench seat in this Grand Marquis, it has proven to be quite comfortable. So as we pull on to the highway, it's time to see how quick its acceleration is. So we will come to a complete stop and then we will give her the beans. like that we're at 90 miles an hour not bad for a two-ton family sedan for old people who 
shouldn't be driving. So all in all, I would classify this vehicle as an excellent daily driver. From experience, we've been able to see 28 miles to the highway gallon. In town, a little bit less at about 19 to 20. And now it's time to give it an old car guy score. This one is going to be easy because this being the favoritest car I have ever owned ever, I am giving it a old car guy score of 100 out of 100. Why? Well, because this is my show and I can. And so that's the 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. And although this car is discontinued, it will still live on in the lives of guys like me who just want rear wheel drive V8 powered four door sedan semi luxury and want to be cop posers. <laughs>